There's a lot of people I'd like to thank. Um, parents, um, family, teachers, faculty. Um, there's too many to call individually, so I was kind of just a collective thank you. Uh, you know, I want to thank my parents. They really helped me get through school, you know, helping pay for it, whether it be, you know, pushing me along the way, helping me get through it. Um, my professors were great as well, helping me, you know, whether it be outside of class or office hours, they were great in just helping me get to where I wanted to be today. Um, I would definitely like to thank my parents. Uh, they have been a great help throughout my whole academic career. As a single parent, I've, you know, uh, they, I've relied on them a lot to watch my children and while I was doing homework and things like that, and they've just encouraged me along the way, so. My teachers, specifically Christina Glick, she's my medals professor. She has pushed me to new heights. She has made me think in new creative ways. She's challenged me and I appreciate that so much from her. She is amazing and I, I love that she's been here at ISU and I am so glad and proud to say that I am her student. Uh, mainly my parents, but mostly family and friends. A big influence in my life is that family culture behind yourself helps out a lot. The doctors in the business program, uh, Dr. Alex Bollinger, amazing. Uh, John Nye, amazing. They're, they're all fantastic. There's, you, know, you can't name them all, but I think the business program here is fantastic. Uh, my parents definitely for always supporting me and pushing me to take the final step in my education. Uh, success, it's going to be primarily my professors and instructors and then my classmates. You know, we kind of worked as a team the entire semester and if it wasn't for, you know, that, that group effort, I don't know if any, any one of us would have made it. Definitely my parents and my friends here and my fiance as well. Um, also my advisors here at ISU were really helpful. I've had a really good experience here because it is such a small school. Things aren't delegated to TAs and you can get that one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one time with your professors and I've had a lot of good you know, instructors who are willing to take that time and give me the additional help if I needed it. A lot of my success came from the support from my family, my mom, my dad, and my wife. So I just want to thank them and for all they've done for me to help me make it through this. So. My success for graduating is actually my parents, my mom, and my dad. They have been very supportive. I am a single mom of three, so they've been helping me out with watching the kids while I get my homework done and coming to class on time. So I definitely appreciate them for helping me out a lot. Um, first of all, my parents who are back in home at Nepal, and my sister, brother, sister and brother-in-law. And after that, my friends, uh, relatives, uh, and all those uh, professors here at the ISU, and my, all of my friends here at the ISU, everyone. I think the biggest life lesson that I learned is just because you fail at something doesn't mean that everything's over. Uh, I switched my degree, and now I'm in a field of study that I'm comfortable with, and I'm sure it would have been fine if I would have continued through uh, my previous major, but I'm happy where I'm at now. Uh, a life lesson was just never give up, I would say. Um, there's been times when I've really wanted to just throw in the towel, but the goal of actually graduating and uh, being the first student or graduate in my family, um, that's kind of what kept me going. What I learned at both ISU and in Sweden was um, that I could go off into the world and do big things and do exciting things. But I also learned that I love ISU and I love Pocatello and I love it enough to stay and um, help students with their own growth and they can have their own growing experiences like mine. One of the biggest lessons I have, I have learned is uh, hard work and like uh, how uh, the life is being independent because in, back in Nepal we have to be with our family members and uh, parents are supporting every time, but we are here alone and we just have to make new family, new friends. And uh, that is a kind of hard thing, being an international student here at the ISU. And other than that, um, all the bachelor's degree, all by yourself, you have to do a really hard job, uh, study, uh, talk to professor, mentors, and all those kind of things. So I kind of know about the networking, how important is networking in life. So I would say like I have uh, learned like the networking skills I, once I came here and I, I was involving at the ASISU and all, all those kind of things. So 
how to succeed in life and that it, it takes hard work and dedication that nothing's going to be given to you. Uh, no matter how hard the challenge is, just to find a way to keep going, push through and persevere. Uh, hard work pays off, you know, looking back and starting my degree at my freshman year four or five years ago and looking till now, it's been quite a journey, so just putting the nose to the grindstone and putting the hard work in, it'll definitely pay off for you. I think one of the, the best memories I had was I traveled to Boise and watched our boys play uh, against Boise State for basketball and we ended up taking a W in their home court. I used to work at the Bengal newspaper. I worked as a reporter and then I worked as life editor and copy editor so I kind of worked up in the ranks and that was always such an amazing time. It's a great team. There's some really talented journalists and photojournalists there and you really get to learn how to um, how to work in the field that you want to go into after graduation. That was probably my favorite thing about being at ISU. My best memory is actually being in Business Professionals of America. I have became a state officer last year for the 2018 to 2019 state officer for BPA. So I actually had a great experience when we went to Dallas, Texas, and we actually joined with a lot of other BPA students and actually getting to know them. I don't know if I have a favorite memory, but I really like my cohort, like my classmates, and probably I don't know, just conversations that we've had and just time in the classroom uh, over the last three years have probably just been completely awesome and I will definitely cherish that once I leave. <laughs> uh, the extracurricular stuff. So I love my program, love my classes, classmates, but uh, I was able to volunteer assistant coach with the, the women's volleyball team and participated in the volleyball club the entire time I was here. And you know, like specific, those two groups of people made it, made it worthwhile. My memories of my friends that I've made here, I will never forget it. Probably the favorite memory I have is just all the connections I've made with all the people, all my classmates, lifelong connections you have with new friends, and just the enjoyment of being here. I was uh, fortunate to work with people from all over the world. You know, there, there are people that I got to associate with from India and Nepal and Afghanistan and Iraq and. Canada and it's just I think the the cultural experience being able to work in a on a global campus with people from all over the world is priceless. Well the main thing I learned was like independence like doing things on my own um, and like if I fail at something getting back up and trying again so like for jobs in the future like if I don't get it just to keep trying and just be diligent about it and not give up. ISU helped me because we have a family business uh, they helped me to like be able to take the skills I learned from ISU and apply them to that business with helping us be more efficient in the way we work and, and hopefully make some decent money going forward, you know? Hopefully to help people. <laughs> uh, I want to be able to help people and help people to be able to do the things that they need or want to do um, and, yeah, make a difference. I will take care of myself and resume to uh, I'm a metalsmith, so I'm going to do what I love. I am going to go into the jewelry industry, and I'm going to make things that make people smile. And that is more important than anything else. It's not the money. It's not any of that. It's the ability to make others smile. And that is the beauty of this world. I just want to say that I'm so excited to come back to ISU and get to work here after graduating because I had such a good time here as a student. I had mentors who just transformed my life and told me that I could do big things and I hadn't really been told that before. Um, and it feels really awesome to come back and after graduating and be in the position to do that for other students. Yeah, I came here the spring, Jan I mean January 2016 and it's my eighth semester here, so I'm, I'm just, just about done and in four sem I mean eighth semester and double major, so I think that's pretty good. And my academic is pretty good, and I want to thank all my professors at the College of Business, um, Christine Zonline, Dr. Parker, Professor Holmes, all of those are pretty good. Uh, Suzette Porter at the admin, admin office was awesome, she's very helpful. And uh, ASHU, Annie Lowell, and all those, all those crew I worked with at, at the ASHU are pretty helpful and all the ideas family I'm working with currently are amazing. Thanks, thanks everyone.
I want to say it's like definitely getting to know people and talk to people is the best thing ever because I have learned, I met a lot of great friends. Kind of thank you to all the friends and all that that I've made, all the relationships. Everybody here has been really warm. It's like hard coming from a different state, but felt really at home here at Idaho State. I was nervous coming here at first, but I mean, I've spent my time here. I've learned a lot, I've had a lot of fun, and over the years, the friends I've made and everything, I mean, if you think about coming to college, Idaho State's definitely something I would look into. It's, it's been a good experience. ISU definitely led me down the path that I would have chosen. It wasn't something I thought I'd end up doing, but I found out who I really was here, and it made me happier than I ever could be. And yeah, I also want to shout out my significant other, Max. It's the marks we make in this world um, and on each other. So when you meet somebody, even if it's for a brief second of time, even if it's just for a semester or for a year or for a week, you collide with each other and you leave marks and that's important because we all need human interaction. Sometimes we forget, we get very caught up in our phones or our computers and anything like, we just don't do a lot of human interaction anymore. And being here in college, it makes you have human interaction. It makes you leave marks on people. And that's really special. And that's something that we should all look forward to and keep trying to do in our lives. If, if really, if you look at this campus, its mission, the people that work here in its totality and everything that they're doing, it's easy to pick one little thing that maybe is a fault. Um, but if you look at the aggregate of what this is, what an amazing university and what a fantastic opportunity for people from Idaho and from all over the world to come and get a world-class education with, uh, you know, PhDs and uh, industry specialists and experts that, that you wouldn't have access to anywhere else. Uh, I guess that would be my shout out is thank you for that aggregate experience. It's amazing.